Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's video and today we're going to go ahead and cover whether a brand new Chinese dirt bike or a used Japanese dirt bike is going to be best for you and what you should spend your money on. Let's just jump right into it. So in today's video, let's go ahead and we'll cover some of the pros of each of the bikes and then we'll go over and cover some of the cons. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with some of the pros on the China bike. Pro number one is going to be obviously the cost. You can buy this thing brand new uh, for relatively inexpensive and it's a brand new bike out the showroom so you don't really have to worry about looking over it for what's broken or what needs to be replaced on it already because it's a brand new bike shouldn't really have to replace anything on it that being said it is a chinese bike so there might be things you need to mess around and modify on it once you do get the bike they're great bikes for what they are and uh, for the price that you can actually pick one of these guys up for it's fairly worth it now when we're talking about pros of the chinese pit bike really that is the biggest and like most primary pro about the chinese pit bikes is just the overall cost uh, to get one of these dirt bikes and you get into dirt biking is very affordable and pretty much anyone can do it and that really is the biggest pro about the chinese dirt bikes is just their price so we're covering some of the pros of the used japanese dirt bike it's gonna be reliability is key here um, and they really just they last extremely well and long uh, and you can take them up some really rough trails and not have to worry about the thing falling apart. Finding parts is readily available. You can go and find any of the parts you need for these bikes at the shops and you should have no issues picking up anything or finding anything online for these bikes and you should still be able to find parts in stock are reasonably affordable and uh, they're genuine quality parts so they'll last you a while and that's what's great about the Japanese bikes. So really those are the two biggest pros of each bike. The Chinese bike is just outright cheaper to buy when you want to buy one uh, and that the used Japanese dirt bikes they just have a plethora of parts and they're readily available as well as they're extremely reliable. Now if we were comparing a brand new Chinese dirt bike to a brand new Japanese dirt bike we're going to pick the brand new Japanese bike every single time because it has the reliability, has performance and everything you're gonna want the only the only downfall to a brand new Japanese bike is the price and that they are roughly three to four times as expensive as one of the Chinese dirt bikes which is a lot of money when one of these is a few grand and then you jump up to a Japanese bike and it costs you anywhere from like eight to ten thousand dollars so that's something you got to think about and that's some of the reasons why I'm speaking on a used Japanese dirt bike comparing it to a brand new one is that they're relatively in the same price range you could buy either this brand new RFC or you could buy this used uh, XR100 and they're roughly the same price you could be into it for the same amount of money so I'm deciding on which one you know which one is best for you as you guys can see I own both so I have both ends of the spectrum of what it's like owning both of them so if you guys have any questions always feel free to comment down below and I'll go ahead and answer any questions you guys might have about either of these dirt bikes so I'll go ahead and we'll talk over a couple reasons on why I wouldn't want to buy a Chinese bike and why I would buy one of these Japanese used dirt bikes over one of these brand new dirt bikes now the very first and foremost reason is if you know what you're looking for and you're watching the ads go up daily on use Victoria or Facebook marketplace or wherever it may be that you're looking for used dirt bikes um, these dirt bikes if you if you're watching for deals you could pick one of these dirt bikes up for the same price if not cheaper than one of these Chinese dirt bikes so in that case the whole pro of the Chinese dirt bike being cheaper than a hip bike from Japan is cancelled out and if you can buy this dirt bike for the exact same price or cheaper than one of these dirt bikes there's really no reason to buy one of the Chinese dirt bikes the only thing I will say and preface it on that is that this dirt bike here the Chinese one is actually much faster than this XR100 so there is that but that is because this is a 150 cc versus this one is only 100 cc so just keep that in mind but relatively if you're watching Facebook you're watching wherever the marketplace are for used dirt bikes if you're watching the market you can generally speaking pick up one of these used Japanese pit bikes or dirt bikes for relatively the same price as one of the Chinese bikes now the second reason we're going to talk about that I wouldn't recommend one of these Chinese pit bikes is just the overall ride quality is nowhere near up to par as to one of these Japanese dirt bikes. This we'll just start with like the suspension and the way it feels when you're riding and hitting bumps and stuff. This this Japanese dirt bike is just a whole lot more comfortable to ride on the trails compared to this Chinese bike. The actual way that the shocks operate and move on this 2020 all RFZ are like so-so and aren't that great and they are completely non-adjustable. And then on this dirt bike, we have older style bicycle like forks, but they work like way, way, way better and are a lot softer and just set up a whole lot better. They actually seem to use all the travel on the Japanese bike, whereas the Chinese dirt bike is just, it seems like it's poorly valved and just the suspension does not work all that great. 
Then we're talking about the Chinese bikes, just in general on the smaller wheeled bikes, uh, they're just a lot more prone to damage. The rims that they use are just pretty well junk. And if you guys have seen my videos, you guys would know that my wheels ended up looking like octagons or squares by the end of it. And that I ended up having to get some new wheels and tires. If you guys wanna check that video, that'll be up here. That'll help your bike actually go faster. So you guys wanna check that out, definitely click on that video. Another con about the Chinese dirt bike is that the seat is absolutely stiff as hell. And it's like sitting on a piece of two by four is what it feels like in your butt after 30 minutes. You're butt cheeks are totally numb from sitting on this thing and uh, the seat on the honda is way better it's like sitting on a plush couch cushion compared to sitting on a two by four on the chinese dirt bike so that's something else is just the seat and the the quality of your ride on your tushy is definitely not up to spec on the china bike compared to how good it is on the japanese bike with that love seat cushion the next con about the China dirt bike is just the overall quality of the parts on it uh, and how likely they are to break and wear out extremely fast. So like just for for reference, well, let's just talk about the brake pad. The pads themselves are made out of poor quality, so the pads wear out extremely fast. Or we could just talk about the weld quality or the metal quality that they actually use throughout the Chinese dirt bike is just fairly poor and I've already had some of the metal from the frame crack and I've had to re-weld some of it. So that's something to keep in mind as well. It's just the quality of the parts they use on these Chinese dirt bikes are just not up to spec and just not the same quality that they have on the Japanese dirt bikes. So now you've broken some parts on your Chinese dirt bike. The next thing that sucks about them is trying to source any parts. Now, some of the parts are readily available from China and they're relatively cheap to get, that's great. But a lot of them, they're waiting two to three months on shipping times for them to ship overseas into North America to get you those parts. And then sometimes you just can't find the part that you need. And that's another thing that just sucks is if you break something, trying to get parts can sometimes be a long process and a long wait instead of just rolling down to your local dirt bike shop like you would with the Japanese bike and have them fix it. This one is you're going to wait probably a while online for the part to show up because no dirt bike store anywhere around you sources any parts for these bikes unless you have a Chinese dirt bike dealer near you, which I don't. So now let's go ahead and we'll cover some of the reasons on why you would want to buy one of these Chinese dirt bikes over a used Japanese dirt bike. And the person who I would say this bike is most gauged towards is someone who doesn't know what they're looking at when they're looking at a used dirt bike for sale and they have no real idea of, the, of how to look over a used dirt bike and you just want to buy something new where you know all the parts on it are good to go and it's ready to rip, this is going to be the easiest, cheapest way for you to just go spend your money, buy something and take it out a couple hours later and hit up the trails and just go rip it up and not have to really worry about anything per se. So if you're someone who wants a brand new dirt bike but can't afford the prices of a Japanese dirt bike that's brand new and you don't want the nuances of buying a used dirt bike and the potential for it to be broken already before you even go and ride it, in that case, that's when I'll be buying one of these Chinese dirt bikes. If you just want to get something, hop on it and go for a relatively cheap price. To add on to that, if you're not super knowledgeable about dirt bikes, I think this is a great choice because trying to buy a used dirt bike when you don't know what you're looking at or you don't know what you're looking for can be extremely frustrating and difficult when you go and look at a bunch of these bikes or you end up going and buying one of these bikes and they blow up on the trail on your first ride because it's it's older dirt bike and someone who had it was rough on it and used and abused it, but you don't really know what to look for to see that it's been used and abused. And so in that case, I would gear towards buying one of these dirt bikes here. If you're not knowledgeable on dirt bikes, it can make buying a used dirt bike just a whole lot more difficult and the process can be a whole lot more complicated and frustrating for you. But if you do want to learn how to buy a used dirt bike and you want me to show you all the steps and processes on how to check out and buy a good used dirt bike, you guys can go ahead and click this video right here and I will show you guys on how to go over and check out a used dirt bike when you go out and buy one. So you make sure you get a good solid deal. And I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Click like if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys click subscribe right now if you guys are a new watcher and you're just checking out this video. Leave any comments down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.